So uh, let's uh, talk about the 10 reasons to buy homes. So, so before the holiday, or I have this, this uh, uh, company that calls me or emails me and asks me to write art articles from and that kind of thing. And their question today was, what are the top 10 reasons why people should buy a home over the holidays? Okay. And, and Do you here, have those? here's what I came up with. And okay. I wanted to discuss this with you. The first thing is rates, rates will go up in 2022. We mm -hmm. know that's going to happen. It's going to happen. So one, right. Mm -hmm. So number two is house pricing. The cost of housing will continue to increase. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the MBA, um, not MBA, but um, federal, uh, they they anticipate. I think they're they're all between two and four percent. Yeah, so on it's nothing nothing like twenty twenty one, which is normal, right? Right. Yeah, so it should be normal. We probably get down into the normal realm of living. The average increase since nineteen fifties has been three and a half percent. Yeah. Yeah. So it it, sh it, sh it should be normal appreciation. Right. Right. Which will feel like people will probably try to convince you the you know that every, going down. everything's on fire. That's right. That's right. No, everything's what it should be, <laughs> normal. So number three was um, renovating will become less expensive as as the shipports are catching up. Yeah, prices should come down on uh, supplies. Yeah, I think we're Agreed. already seeing a little bit of a change in that. The pricing has come down. It's the time frame in which to get them right. that is mm -hmm. the issue right now. I mean, because, you know, lumber, I mean, there's there's still like, you know, between 20 and 30 percent price increase increase, which, you know, put that in, put that into. Right. Um, or attribute that to inflation. But it's, you know, you're talking 12 to 16 weeks to get doors. That's right. To wow. get windows. And it's all because of trucking at this point. Yeah. I mean, well, it, the ports too. Well, the ports, oh, port, oh, ports by the way, stuff in, but trucks can't get them away is the, what I'm uh, hearing. The current administration put a tariff on lumber from Canada. <laughs> that's going to, that's going to help the supply. And the slow inflation. Joe. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I saw someone put a sticker on a, on a gas pump. I <laughs> did this. <laughs> I, saw, I was like, oh, that's funny. It was a picture of him saying, like, I did that. Uh, I was like, then, I saw one of those. And then beside that one was one of Pelosi going, and I helped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I liked, I liked that. I thought that was great. So number four, I like this thought. Agents won't, won't be nearly as busy. So they have more time to devote to you, real estate agents. Assuming you want to use one, yeah. you might just want to, you know, go the whole um, I buyer, I buyer route. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. I'd well, use an, I'd use, I'd use an agent. I am one, so of course I'm going to promote that. Mm -hmm. um, but real estate agents serve a lot better purpose than most than most people. Number five, many other buyers are weary from the multiple offer games, so the competition will be a little bit easier. Maybe. Yeah. I think we're seeing, you know, we're still seeing multiple offers, but not like we were. It's a big difference. Well, it's, you know, it's like, I think that the data at this point is like, you know, are we not seeing multiple offers because there's not as much interest or things are slowing down? Or is it just because people are on pause because of the holidays? Mm. You know, what we'll be telling will be really what happens in the end of January through February. Right. That's, yeah, a, that's yeah. a great point. That's a great point. I mean, even when I'm looking, when I'm looking, I filter out properties that have been or filter out properties that have been listed less than 30 days. Uh, I want to see properties that have been on the market for at least 45 days. Mm -hmm. If they've been on the market for 45 days or something up and it's worth looking at them. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're a little bit more motivated at yeah. that point. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's definitely going to happen. Because you know they're at home like, everyone else's homes are selling in two days. That's Why right. isn't ours? Well, what's wrong yeah. with mine? Yeah. That's for sure. Could be that there's a lot in the backyard that you walk out the, the 10 feet, it's straight down. <laughs> um, all kinds of reasons that there's no problem for an Airbnb, <laughs> but that, that's a whole other story. So <laughs> how about number six? Things tend to slow in the winter months, giving you more to choose from. Yeah. Yeah, we just discussed that. We did. Mm -hmm. We sure did. Number seven, the equity in your current home will allow you to buy buy more than you dreamed of. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. All set for what you're going to have to pay 
to get the new one. Well, unless you've refinanced, uh, it's important. It's important to take a look at that. Mm -hmm. um, number eight, my personal favorite. Zillow has 9,800 homes flooding the market to choose from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, my, my neighbor's, house, neighbor's house, Zillow, that, and uh, they still haven't done anything with it. And uh, my wife was like, well, what do you think, when are they going to list it? I'm like, they're in no rush. They overpaid by forty thousand dollars. That's the truth. <laughs> they're waiting the, for the, the prices <laughs> to catch right. up. That's That's right. catch up. And they're still going to have to rehab it. Yeah. Well, know? there's no re well, that one doesn't need any rehab. But rehab, but uh, but it's like that. they're going to sit. They're going to sit on it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, they they overpaid at that time, but I mean, they might be. You know, that might be. They might About be about even right now. No, I mean, I think they might lose twenty thousand right now. Wow. If they're lucky. Yeah. If they're lucky. One of the things that I found too. On Zillow, and I love that somebody from one of our masterminds shared it, that you can pull up Zillow and do a filter where you're only looking at Zillow owned properties. Um, and then I just pulled up a map on, you know, the states. I pulled one up on Florida, pulled North Carolina and South Carolina, of course, because there are home places in, in cities, cities that I want to buy in and, and let me know right away. Um, what was available from the Zillow market. Uh, Nashville has a lot. Charlotte has a lot. There are some places you can see where Zillow wasn't buying at all. Like when I pulled up the state of Alabama, there's like nothing right. in Alabama. Alabama uh, Zillow. So we're really particular about the markets. Most of them are really good markets that they're in. But the downside is, is they, they had to use the same contractors that are out there that everybody else is using, and they don't really have boots on the ground to oversee the contractors they hired. Right. So the rehabs that they have done are truly lipsticks on a pig. So so got to really, you basically have to renovate it again and, and hope that there aren't any big tickets in there that were glossed over. I, I want to mention something about the uh, Zestimate that that's, you see on that's Zillow. It's the number. most accurate number that you can get. <laughs> if the company that uh, provides you with an estimate on what a value is, uh, is overpaying by $40,000. There's your sign. In markets, how accurate are those values? That's right. <laughs> anyway, that's exactly right. what's the next one? With well, you? <laughs> you know, that's so funny because the Zestimate on my house is 30000 lower, lower than what someone just paid for a house then just closed on on the 30th for very comparable to mine and like and, and so i'm like and i can get my house appraised tomorrow i'm like yeah yeah it, it, it depends on 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 it, it doesn't is. mean that yeah. sometimes they're too high too high sometimes low. yeah yeah they're, they're just not very accurate what we're saying is don't buy houses based off this estimate yeah <laughs> number one rule so number nine is work uh, with the work from, oh, the work. work from home options. I forgot to mm -hmm. insert the word home. So with the work from home options, you can move to wherever you want. You want. What a great reason to move, to move. I was living up north, not that the north area is not good, but I don't like cold weather. Mm -hmm. I would be heading south in a flash. <laughs> Don Don Harris, people also believe in Santa. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I like that. <laughs> So true, true. Listen, the president said Santa was was the only guarantee that you get your gift on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so That's he's funny. he's real. And yeah. speaking of great real estate agents, Don Harris is the bomb. Yes. Um, and he's with Keller Williams, just in case you need to know that. Uh okay, so the last one is you should be looking for property over the holidays because you've been a good boy or a good girl. <laughs> Because you're not getting cold. That's you're right. Sweet. That's right. That's the last one I could think of. All right. Yeah. No, I like it. No, I mean, yeah. If we, if you can get property right now, now you might have some more negotiating power, getting power than we'll have in in February for sure. That's for I mean, sure. There's a lot of people who have timed things to hit the market in February, March. Um, so I think right now you're going to have more negotiating power. Mm -hmm. You're right. Sure.